Okay, so today I got a late start, which was a good thing. I didn't wake up till seven and it's now 11.30. So I'm gonna pop and get a couple of groceries, fill up the car with gas and then, I don't know, I haven't got a clue. So I'm gonna maybe make a couple of phone calls and see what other co-workers are doing or I might just spend a day by myself. So stick with me, let's see what we do. I drove to Home Depot because I want some E6000 glue or something that's really, really strong. Because when I drive around, I wanna show you guys what I can see, but my phone little holder thing, um, is this it? No, this is another one. I have a phone dashboard holder and I don't know whether it's the heat or whether my iPhone is just too heavy for it, but it keeps falling off. So I thought if I glue it to the dashboard, and E6000 is the best glue that I know of. So I'm gonna pop into Home Depot and see if they got some, and then you guys can get to see what I see. Okay, so I don't see any E6, oh, right there, duh. I was about to say I don't see any E6000. I wonder if this is better than this. This one says temperature resistant which in Vegas heat I probably need, but I'm gonna give my E6000 a quick read. So I opted for this glue because it did say temperature resistant. So I'm thinking maybe that's what the problem was last time was that it just got overheated in the car. We'll see, I mean, I don't know how, how high of a temperature this will work. So I'm gonna do this at the end of the day. So when I've stopped driving, I can just let it sit there and glue and stay still for the whole night and then hopefully in the morning I can use it. So we'll see. Um, I do see there's a Goodwill in this parking lot. I wouldn't mind visiting that, but I am hungry too. So I think I'm gonna go back towards the hotel because I got two cases of water. So I need to take that back. So I'm gonna grab something to eat on the way back to the hotel, take the water and then go from there. So guys, this is what we do. When we end up getting our car dirty, we just switch it for a new one. <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> we scored a lovely Malibu car. We are currently driving around downtown Phoenix. We are looking for the Heard Museum and came across these lovely homes. So we thought we'd have a quick drive around the neighborhood first. We found the fry bread stand and so I stood and watched how they made this. I've never seen this before. It's the Navajo fry bread and they basically make a kind of dough and they throw it into the pan and it bubbles up really, really quickly. And then you can eat these either savory or sweet. And our friend chose to have a sweet one. So what they do is they drizzle honey all over it or you can have powdered sugar. It looks really lovely. Incense holder or a no, it's a seed pack. It's, it's kind of seed pack. Seed seeds. Seeds. Yes. Oh. This is all Phoenix, Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert. That's the hole in the rock. 
TikTok that we did the other day down there. Downtown Phoenix. It's humongous. I thought it would be fun to record our journey from the top of the lookout down to the base of the mountain and I sped it up but this whole section lasts about 10 minutes so if you're not interested in watching this just fast forward about 10 minutes but I thought it was a fun little thing to do.
after driving down Dobbins Lookout, we decided to go eat and we went to this place here. And oh boy, can I tell you that this was a good place to go. And I found out they have this restaurant in Las Vegas too. We went to Dutch Brothers to grab a coffee and I have to be honest, I think this is actually better than Starbucks. Taco Tuesday folks and we are going to try some $2 tacos, me and a bunch of co-workers. Pastor tacos which means marinated pork. Yeah, but you can do pastor. So this is a little plaque saying that Guy Ferrari or Ferrari, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, visited here so I'm sure he did one of his cooking shows from this place. And a hot day this is horchata. It's rice water and cinnamon and sugar, and it's dollar shots. Hi guys, this is my first time in an American Aldi's. I've been in Aldi's before in England. But I've never been inside one in America, so I'm just try checking it out and seeing how different it is. And um, I'm not seeing anything that I would normally see in a British Audi. So, uh, so far I've got the seaweed crisps. So I'm going to continue to look around and see what else we can see. Yeah, I was really hoping that I would find something British in here, but I pretty much knew that I wouldn't because if you're an Audi, you're going to cater to that market where you've built that LD. So I kind of knew that there wasn't going to be anything British, but I was just keeping my fingers crossed. But I did buy a couple of things anyway. That looks interesting, the little fondue set. This looks good. Sea salt latte. I think I'll get one of these, try this. Oh, collagen creamer. Hmm. Cookies. Huntington Home Ceramic Textured Candle. These are nice. Six ninety nine. Okay, I've never seen English cheddar this cheap before. It's three ninety nine for a big old block like this. This is seven ounces. That's a really good deal because you can't find it that cheap. <laughs> 